of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Our Lady, Mother of Mercy, Pray. Gate of Heaven, Pray. Saint Joseph, Pray. Saint Conrad of Parsim, our patron saints and guardian angels. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today in the Franciscan order, we celebrate St. Conrad of Parsim, who was a German lay brother in the Capuchin Franciscan order. He, as a young boy, was very pious, and um, he was not able to attend church as regularly as he would like to because of his duties, but he always would pray and be very devout. And on feast days, he had this practice even before uh, he was even a, a religious. He would go on long, pil uh, take a pilgrimage and go to a, a Marian shrine. Many times on these pilgrimages, he would fast the whole day. And so later on, as his, when his parents died, he was eventually free to pursue his religious vocation. He entered the Capuchins at the age of 31, and he was assigned, after he made his profession, to the Marian Shrine in, in Bavaria called uh, Our Lady of Altating. I'm, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but it's a very famous shrine to Our Lady in Bavaria. And uh, he was, his job was to answer the door and take care of anyone who came to the door, whether they were poor or in need or someone requesting prayers, he would attend to their needs. And he did this job at that shrine for over 40 years. And uh, it, as it said in the opening prayer, that truly the door that he took care of was a door of mercy, for he attended to everybody's needs. And uh, he was so well loved because he was always attentive to the poor and those who came to the door he gave them his whole attention. He gave them everything you know that he could do for them, and uh, truly, uh, people were attracted to him. And uh, that uh, you know the the porter of a of a friary is a very important role. And to be patient with people and to be humble can be a, a great. Uh, you think it would be something that would be quite the norm, but I remember being in a friary where <laughs> the porter was not so so patient and one day a person came to the door and the first thing that he said when the person came to the door was, why are you so fat? <laughs> and that's not exactly a good way to begin a <laughs> conversation. But anyway, so St. Conrad was very patient, he was very kind, he was very charitable. And uh, when he wasn't working, they said he was praying. Matter of fact, many people believed he didn't take any rest because when he was, even in the midst of his porter duties, he had a little niche in the wall or in the corner of wherever the room was that he was uh, working out of his porter that he could look into the chapel and see the Blessed Sacrament. And he would just go over there and he would kind of huddle into that little niche and he would pray when he wasn't attending to anyone. But after hours, they would find him in the oratory of the friary. He would be praying and doing his devotions. Um, so it seems that he had a, a great love, and of course that is probably a great grace that God gave him, that he sustained him in his prayer life by uh, keeping him, giving him the strength to do his duties and activities. Today we honor St. Conrad, and we especially want to be mindful of uh, the fact that you might say the door of every house, the door of every friary, the door of every Catholic home especially should be a door of mercy, especially during this year of mercy. You know, we have special doors in different places in dioceses that people can pass through those doors and receive an indulgence. But our doors of our homes and our friaries should truly be doors which with pe people pass through 
that they receive the mercy of God, that what they receive from us is, of course, his mercy and kindness and charity. That should be the hallmark of every home. And I think Our Lady must have a special love for the porter of, of friaries and those who answer the door because, of course, she is the gate of heaven. She is the door uh, which God came to us and gave us the greatest mercy of all, his son, Jesus Christ. So today, let us um, reflect maybe on um, how well have we received people into our home or into our, our friary or in whatever way, even receiving them as they greet us or, or meet us, that we are truly portals, that we are doors of mercy to those who come to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <laughs>